Welcome to Autosport International 2020 for the 70th anniversary of Autosport magazine. We're with some legendary Formula One cars today and one of them is the most advanced Formula One cars known to man. It's so advanced that Williams keeps its active suspension package under wraps. Now I'm joined by Giorgio Piola who knows about this car a lot more than I do considering it was made the year before I was born. Now, Giorgio, what are your main takeaways from the Williams FW14B? It was really a very radical car, extreme in everything. The aerodynamic was a, a big, big evolution of the Leighton house made by Adrian Newey. We have to remember that the chief designer was Adrian Newey, okay, controlled by the genius of uh, Patrick Head. And he made, uh, you, uh, you we can see in every detail, a very sophisticated aerodynamic. For example, something nice to compare our days, you see the in-wash, all the aerodynamic solution to send the air on the inside of the wheel. That is the opposite of what happened in our days with a wider wing, the, the designer tried to, to send the airflow outside the wheel. Then you see the cockpit how closed, how aerodynamic it was. And that the philosophy of cockpit created the problem in 94 with Senna. But another key of this car of success was the suspension made by Paddy Low, active suspension. Everybody stopped with the active suspension because we were never reliable and there was a lot of accident. This car was magic because it was very efficient, very competitive and extremely reliable. Now, one thing that I do know about the season is that, first of all, this was only supposed to be an interim car. They had the 15 ready, and this car was so good they decided not to use it. And secondly, uh, Nigel Mansell's pole lap in Silverstone, he was two seconds ahead of everybody else. Now, you would have been there at the time, George. Do you remember the car drivers absolutely raving about this car? Yeah, of course. The driver was uh, amazed, uh, in love with this car because uh, was such an advanced uh, car compared to everybody else uh, that was uh, incredible. And myself, uh, I had one of the most uh, funny story in my career. I wanted to do, of course, after Silverstone, an interview with Patrick Head. So I went to the factory and uh, a guy from marketing that I never saw before and he never saw before myself, uh, he took me in a place uh, that was the wrongest place as possible because he took me in the seven pod ring with no uh, bodywork and the FT suspension work and I remember it was simulating the Monaco Grand Prix and so I could see all the detail, the detail was always secret. At one point <laughs> Patrick had opened the door and I can tell you even the glasses of the window <laughs> broke and he was shouting so much and it was funny and then he came Jojo you don't see anything eh? forget everything I said okay Patrick and I didn't do it. honestly I didn't do the drawing <laughs>